Kitty Robinson and I'm on the advisory board for the Comprehensive Cancer Center. I made contact with the Comprehensive Cancer Center through Lella Bromberg. She called and said, okay, Kitty, we got to do something. We need to start a board and be involved. And so we did. And that was probably in 80, uh, the end of the 70s. Dr. Durant was here and he asked us to do that. Lella's mother and my father were both treated here by Dr. Durant. The main thing he wanted to do was get the information out uh, to the public about what the Comprehensive Cancer Center was and what we did here, what he did here, and the research that was going on. That's sort of the way it started. I'm a breast cancer survivor and uh, 30 years. I'm really proud of that. <laughs> I'd had many lumps before and had them biopsied, but this one was just different. And so my husband said, go tomorrow, see the doctor. And he, within two days, I had had the lump removed and my breast removed. And I took chemotherapy for a year. Dr. Durant was absolutely wonderful. I think this is one of the things that I am the most proud of that I've been involved with the Comprehensive Cancer Center. The patient care and the patient services is just something to be very, very proud of. Dr. Durant and Dr. Labulio and now Dr. Partridge is just all of them had such a huge, huge influence on the growth. The whole university complex is just so wonderful. The research has been so dramatic. Um, used to be uh, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma was a death sentence. Uh, now it is not. Uh, stage four breast cancer was, and now it is not. And our comprehensive cancer center, of course, is one of the best in the whole world. And I think it is the best. <laughs> the comprehensive cancer center is different in that it's total care of a patient, a comprehensive care. If they need a urologist, one comes in. If they need a, a neurologist, one will come. The research uh, people will come in and, and take care of them. It's a whole comprehensive care of that patient to get them well. We're building a, a new building and a new facility for the cancer center and that I think will facilitate better care for the patient and for the research and be able to combine the, the patient care and the research and let everybody interact a little bit more because it's all gonna be in the same building, in the same place. And I think that's Ed Partridge's goal to, to get it that way. My name is Ed Partridge. I'm director of the UAB Comprehensive Cancer Center. At the time that I became involved in the leadership, I already understood and knew that what the center did exceptionally well is translational research, taking what was discovered usually by a basic scientist in the laboratory that basic scientist working with a clinician to then translate or develop that new finding into a therapeutic modality that could actually be given to human beings, to, to, to patients. And we, we've done that exceptionally well for 40 years, and, and I think the part of the reason that we've done that well is the history of the Academic Medical Center itself, the history of UAB, which, in which our initial leadership really stressed the importance of collaboration between basic and clinical scientists. What makes the UAB Comprehensive Cancer Center different from other cancer centers in Alabama is twofold. One, we conduct research in basic clinical translational and at the population level, learning how to prevent and detect disease early. 
No other institutions in Alabama or the region have the breadth and depth of our research program, nor can they ever unless they have this NCI designation. The second thing that distinguishes us is our multidisciplinary teams of clinicians and clinician scientists that are focused on a single disease. So we're the only institution in Alabama that can bring together teams of physicians that are focused in a single cancer. There's tremendous opportunity because of the technology that's actually available to us uh, today. So to develop small molecules or other drugs that can impact the specific abnormalities that we determine. And so when someone comes to us with breast cancer, instead of treating everybody the same because they have stage two breast cancer, we would actually look at the metabolic profile. What do the genes look like? What do the proteins look like? and target therapy specifically to that particular cancer. Four years after I became the director, we did successfully compete for our renewal as a National Cancer Institute designated comprehensive cancer center. So I feel good about where we are. We've been through a process to think about the future, how we make ourselves even better. My name is David Schneider. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of biochemistry and molecular genetics, and I'm an associate scientist uh, with the Cancer Center at UAB. When I was recruited here uh, and interviewed for the Department of Biochemistry, it was made clear to me that we had a strong cancer center, and that appealed to me uh, because my work, although it's fundamental, has some relationship, certainly, to uh, cancer development and progression. I had expectations that, the, I mean, of course, I'd heard a lot about the hospital here, and so I anticipated that the clinical practice would be a major aspect of, of the cancer center, and, and it is. And, uh, but I, I think that the, the basic sciences in the cancer center exceeded my expectations. From a research standpoint, um, it's just exciting to discover. Uh, I think that people who find themselves doing research on a daily basis can easily be uh, drown in the monotony of very slow progress, unfortunately, um, and very challenging series of, of both intellectual and experimental problems. But I think in the end, we're figuring out things that nobody knows. And we're answering questions that have never been answered before, and so I think it's thrilling to discover something. I'm biased, but I think that it's actually, uh, we're, I think, just at the edge of making very serious progress, both on the fundamental research that we do, but also, fortunately, um, in drug discovery. So the, we opened a door that had not been really explored for some time in our field. And this is something that, of course, UAB has, and that's a, a large and strong clinical presence. And so what I'm able to do at UAB um, is take my relatively simple fundamental program and explore therapeutic approaches. And so doing drug discovery experiments and working with individuals who all they do is drug discovery, um, those are resources that UAB and its, its large medical school offer or they offer me but they also put me in the environment where I'm able to become interested in those questions. I think the center has gone through a lot of changes and I think it will of course continue to evolve. A major question that I think they're trying to address is how we can put a bunch of MDs in the room and a bunch of PhDs in the room and make them talk to each other um, which is ultimately <laughs> the goal of, of interfacing experimental science and and uh, clinical science. UAB is a really good place to do science. Um, it, of course, varies from place to place, but um, in my current position, we have the resources that we need to do the types of experiments that we, my group, want to do, but we also have the freedom um, to explore questions that we want to explore. So the future, I think, is bright for us as a group and for um, hopefully UAB as a whole um, in its continued pursuit of uh, both cancer therapeutics and general fundamental science as it, as it is in the, in the health related fields. In many cases providing treatment that could only be gotten here and will permeate or percolate through the community a couple of years later. 
It's almost like, why would you go anywhere else, given the quality of the physicians and the clinician scientists that are here, when you've got such a life-threatening disease like cancer? I would advise anybody, if people call me and ask me what to do when they get cancer, and I have that happen a lot, I would say to them, why go anywhere else in the world when we have the best cancer center at the Comprehensive Cancer Center at UAB, and that's the truth. <laughs>